it's getting light enough that I have been able to uh, wrestle the engine a little further over so I can get underneath the uh, for these oil pan bolts. So I think I'm, uh, I think it can happen. So I'm gonna get started on it. My electric is still charging, so uh, I'm gonna hit these all with some penetrant, and then we'll uh, get on it. There's going to be one or two in there that are uh, still obscured by the tire. I think it's the drive gears on the accessories that are uh, still kind of uh, enmeshed in the cam. Crowbar is very useful. <sighs> Yesterday we were talking about the importance of mechanical advantage. We would be fucked in the world without leverage or pulleys. Gonna get some bloodbath action here. So I'll have to watch my camera. You know what I want to get? Speed wrenches. I like those. I think that's all the bottom ones. Electric's still not done yet, so. I've been pretty diligent about keeping all the parts together and putting them in uh, Ziploc bags and labeling. I'm not always a uh, hyper organized individual, but uh, it's important. bit sludgy but just in the in the uh, low gallery the low gallery not bad currently don't see a lot of metal in there now that is sexy I think this will also help me get the cam out of there. Don't think there's any reason why we can't take the guts out right now. Oh, I gotta, I gotta deal with one Valdez here. Oil pickup feels new. Shiny and the screen is totally clean. Another Cessna 172. Might be the same one for all you know. Dead blow is best for doing that. Because it doesn't quite transfer a lot of the shock. Oh yes. First bearing. Cylinder number six. Let's get my needs out. Throw a resonator. Yeah, I guess 
This has the thrust bearing on it. This doesn't look too proper either. There's some uh, kind of large ass gouge on both sides. It's kind of irregularly shaped, so I don't think it's something machined. Got that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hey. Yeah, that was exciting. Yeah. That's the one, the clean piston. So it is the one that kind of stands out. Rings are good. So I think the rings are not compressed anymore, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it back in. Yeah, they all have that. I've never seen them before, but they all have that little little dent or divot in there. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty goddamn fantastic. What do you think? Get the cam out now. Maybe. Might still have a problem with this gear in the way. <clears throat> yeah, it is kind of as I thought. One of the lobes is caught in behind the journal. Uh, the accessory drives might have to come off. I can see already the cam's a bit worn. Uh, about down to the very nitty-gritty I'm likely to kind of stop here for a bit I'll upload the files <laughs> maybe start working on it uh, because there's still some things to do here but I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, whether I can get at them today or not days mosing along and I don't have I only got a couple hours of sunlight left so Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is, uh, I think it might be part six now. Uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, the disassembly here, we're just about done. And uh, eh, it's pretty straightforward, uh, you know. A couple of little snags here and there, but uh, most, most of that's just due to my own ignorance. You know, probably anybody who does this a lot wouldn't have any problem with those things. I'd like to get the cam out, but really, if I can get the oil uh, thing there, if I can get that gear off, then uh, it'll just slide right out of there. Uh, there is another gear probably on the other side for the uh, distributor. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we will talk soon.